My name's Mickey, and uh, I'm here to go ahead and start my video journal. And this journal is going to be documenting the transition process for SRS, or sexual reassignment surgery. Today is day minus 11, and uh, I live in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm a computer programmer by trade, and I'm 44 years old. For the transitioning process, I've been doing active transitioning right now for about seven years or so, with uh, two years living as a femme and uh, one year uh, on hormones. Um, my transitioning process is normal as most. I started out uh, dressing when I was very, very young in my early pre-teens and such, and uh, took that into my marriage and um, tried to kind of hide from it and suppress it. and. Uh, struggled. I struggled with that for many years, and it just it became too much. I, just, I, I couldn't suppress it any longer, so uh, I got a divorce a couple years ago, and um, here I am. been living on my own for a while now. I've got a roommate by the name of Corey, and uh, she's a transgender also. Good girl. Um, a little younger than me, but real friendly. Nice. Um, anyways, I'm going to be going to Bangkok, leaving uh, in two days from now, uh, flying over. Uh, arriving, and I'll be staying at a friend's house by the name of Somo. And Somo's uh, parents have a place over there, and they've been nice enough to let us stay in their house. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyways, I'm going to be getting a breast augmentation and SRS. And breast augmentation is a traditional boob job, and uh, the SRS is commonly called a sex change operation. You have to have, here in the United States, you have to have what we call letters of release. And that means that you've seen a psychiatrist, and the psychiatrist has verified everything, and that you're okay psychologically and uh, such to continue. So I have one of those, and in Thailand that's all they require, and it's rather expensive, so I just have one. Um, but that's sufficient for them. So I'm off to, off to Thailand. And uh, this thing all just kind of came together. I actually hadn't planned on doing this until next year. Uh, but this just kind of came up, so here I am. Uh, I'll be adding uh, as the days go along, um, little blogs, daily blogs, daily journal entries. Um, there was a, a young lady who I saw here on uh, YouTube who also did a video journal, and she's the one who kind of inspired me to do this. Uh, she's a little bit younger than me, and her recovery process was uh, kind of rapid. So I thought maybe some of the older transgenders out there would like to see what uh, you know a middle-aged person, what the recovery time is, and what you can expect from a transition uh, series, you know, of days and so on. Um, I'm going to be over and in the hospital for a little bit less than a week. July the second is my actual operation, my new birthday. Uh, so. I'll be staying in the hospital about a week and then convalescing probably about another half week to a week before I can really kind of get up and going. So we're going over to Thailand a couple days early uh, so we can do some touring and see the sites and so on, which I, I can't wait to go do. So that'll be nice. So we'll do that and then uh, have the operation and then um, convalesce and then back to hopefully some additional uh, visiting and traveling around the, the country. It's an interesting place. But anyways, that's, I guess that's all for today. I just wanted to give you a quick introduction and get a chance to, so you can see me before the surgery, so you can see afterwards what the effect on, you know, my energy and so on and so forth. And, uh, anyways, just thought it might be something. Yeah. Anyways, um, I look forward to this journey, and I hope you enjoy this uh, video blog. Um, if you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, whatever, please drop me a note, because I'm more than happy to hear from anybody. We'll see you now.